everybody welcome back to dilly daddy budgets i'm sarah and thank you if you're a new subscriber and thank you if you are a returning subscriber it really means a lot to me and i would just like to say a big thank you to everybody who has wished me a happy birthday um since last week i had a fantastic fantastic week it was really really good i really enjoyed myself and just so thankful for each and every one of you that wished me a happy birthday so thank you um, and in today's video, I am going to be checking in for July week two. Um, yeah, it's been spendy. With having my partner on annual leave last week, obviously I left there, <laughs> left my flat a bit more than normal. So um, I spent money, received quite a bit of money, obviously because I had a birthday, but at the same time, a lot went back out again. So as normal, I have tracked my weekly budget in the abundant budgets planner um, i do this just tracking what's going out on a weekly basis and then all the spending of course has been tracked in my rainbow budgets binder so let's crack here on but first of all a little joke for you today let's have another little joke so i know you all love my jokes so let's think so what can today's joke be what do you call a sheep with no legs? Anybody? Huh? A cloud. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, the, those simple ones are the best ones. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So anyway, so I checked in a day late later last week. I checked in on Friday the 7th because I was busy on the Thursday I'd gone to a local zoo and then went to my favorite ice cream shop and we all went through that and I bought my dad some ice cream because I know he loves it so that was a takeout to, to his home so on the Friday I didn't do a lot on the Friday I had a rest day my partner went out um, and had a day to um, herself doing everything she wanted the last eight months she's been working 60 hours a week and then looking after me full time. So I just wanted her to have a whole day where she didn't worry about me and did something she wanted, which I think was very, very important. So I didn't leave the house on the Friday. Um, I put £13 into my dice challenge and a pound into the Rubik's challenge and the water bill came out at £17. So it was a no spend day. On the Saturday, I spent £16.75 um, at Asda that came out of groceries we went to Ikea um, to pick up a few bits um, and I spent £52 but that is spending money but it came out of my birthday money and I also went to Hobbycraft and spent £82.49 and again that was spending money but it came out of my birthday money and I bought a big rainbow tower drawers my partner picked up a couple of bits and there was a couple of other bits that I can't fully remember what else oh, I bought a, a book um and bits so that all came out of my birthday money and then my partner also gave me 10 pounds which coincides here with the thunderball so I spent we do um with with a friend um we have like a little syndicate going on where we all put 10 pounds in a month and we buy thunderball tickets um, and if we win anything, we either use that at the end of the year to go out for a nice meal or we can split it between the three of us. It doesn't matter. So I put that was her £10 coming in for the Thunderball. So I just bought that straight away. Um, but I don't count that as coming out my spending. I did my £10 of the Thunderball. Um, we spent £8.76 in Sainsbury's on some lunch um and because we were out and about um so we picked up just um some little bits and pieces to snack on and i then had an unbudgeted spend of 33 pound 85 in sainsbury's i picked up some denim shorts um and i think i picked up a top and some sweeties so yeah unbudgeted but i'm not going to dwell too much on that and then on Monday the 10th, I had £40 um, given to me from birthday. So that was birthday money. I spent £21.94 of that um, on Lego. I got the villain set for my birthday. So I'm really happy about that. And I got the new brick heads of the Harry Potter figures. Um, but there was one, one of the sets because there was three sets um, I didn't get. 
and I used my birthday money to buy that. And then Apple Storage came out at £2.49. And talking about Apple Storage, I don't know if any of you um, have received an email who paid, but it's going up from August the 8th, I believe. Well, that's what my email said. So that is going up to £2.99 a month. So I must remember that for next month. Um, back to normal this week. So I'm not leaving unless I've got, leaving my, my flat unless I've got physiotherapy, hydrotherapy or any appointments. Um, so Tuesday was a no spend day. Uh, yesterday, which was Wednesday, was a no spend day. I had hydrotherapy. I'm knackered. I've, where I've had the exercises increase, it's shattering me out. Um, but it's all good. And today I have the £100 that comes in um, from the family member, John, who gives us it to help us out, which we're very, very grateful for and very fortunate that we are able to receive this. Just whilst I'm now not at work um, and being on um, ESA and not having as much income as we did. So bless him, he gives us £100 a month just to help us out. So... Let me get rid of this somewhere on my papers and abundant budget. And let's crack in and see what we have got left for the week in the purse. Oh, that's a hobby craft voucher I received for my birthday as well. So we've got a little bit of change this week. So let's bring in the dip bowl and pop it in there. We don't haven't put, used my dip bowl properly for a while. There we go. Wonderful. In spending, so I put the £40 cash I had in spending. I've still got £20 left. Um, so I'm going to leave that in and I've still got the £5 from last week. And I've decided I'm not going to roll over my cash spending um, anymore until the last week of the month. If I have any notes left at the end of the week when I do my check-in excluding this week where I'm going to leave my £20 birthday money in I am going to redistribute that so that's £5 the digital spending money I will continue to roll over every month of f sorry every week until the last week and then anything left I tend to just transfer straight into my emergency fund groceries has got £20 left for the month Fuel still has its £40 and miscellaneous has its £5. So that is what is left. So let's see what we are playing with. So we've got £5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 50, 10, 70, 10, 90, 95, 96, 98, 99, no, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. So £10.99, which is pretty damn good if I don't say so myself. So, of course, first things first, let's bring in Alien and the YouTube challenge. And this is obviously for new users or new subscribers even. Um, this is just where I'm monitoring and checking my um, sus subscriber count for YouTube. Um, this was kindly made um, by um, Becca at Scale Skill Budgets. Each icon indicates five new subscribers and each icon is worth 50 pence. It's just a fun way for me to track my subscribers and also save at the same time. So this week on my handy dandy cheat sheet, I had 340 subscribers this morning, which is brilliant. And another 14. This is getting quite into a pattern at the moment every week it seems to be 14 14 14 so we need to mount this up round this up to 340 so we know this is 300 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 so another three icons this week so that is another one pound fifty to go into alien so let's just pop that there and that can go there. So let's do £1.50. And let's get that in there. Perfect. So that is that done for the for the week. Right, so now we've got £9.99 to play with. So let's bring in 
my savings binder. We'll come back to the penny challenge. So I've got the new challenge to play with, which is from That Budget Chick. Um, and it's the Save the Stars. So I could start that one as I completed the other challenge one recently, which was the Five of Friday from the Budget and Bear. Or I could do my 1 to 50 challenge. And I feel... I'm not putting much in this lately so I am going to maybe let's cross off um, a figure on this so we've got five six seven eight nine oh I need to bring my box in don't I there we go and this is where all my envelopes are stored um, so five six seven eight nine ninety nine let's do number let's do number seven lucky number seven so let's cross that one off there we go lovely stuff and find number seven here we go so there we go these envelopes were from amazon and um, because i don't like folding the notes um they just work there i think they're under money envelopes or something um, and then I just cut the numbers out with some spare vinyl that I had. So that's the £7 going in. And I'm not sealing it because I would like to reuse these. So, oh, it's not going in. Come on. Oh, it's a bit tight. There we go. There we go. Right. So we can move the box to one side. I've marked off the seven. Happy day. So that can go back into its wallet. And then that leaves me with two pounds, 20, 40, 45, six, seven, eight, nine, two pounds, 49 to go into the penny savings challenge. And the next highest number I have is one pound 78. I don't know if that's actually even helped you guys. Let's move it up. There we go. Hello. Um, right. Okay. So I need a calculator. Oh, and I need the tin, don't I? I've got the llama tin here, guys. It's just going to the side. So I'm going to zoom you out a little bit now because you don't need to see all of that, do you? £2.49 minus the £1.78. Perfect, we've got that. And then I've got 71 pence remaining and, oh, perfect. And look at that, it's all in the red pen this week. Perfect, happy days. There we go. So let's just give that a little wafty wafty. There we go. And pop the binder to one side and let's just chuck all of this change into the llama tin. There we go, that is all in there. Might be thinking I've got a lot marked off, but not much change. That's because I change up my change for notes if I need it for during the week or for cash stuffings, etc. So there we go. So that is that done. Turn the calculator off. And that brings me to the end of my check-in for July week two. So coming up next will be my July week three cash stuffing. All that leaves me to say is thank you very much for tuning in to yet another one of my videos. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you all have a fantastic week and I shall see you soon. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.